Hi friends, this is the 8th video tutorial into video lecture series on machine learning. So in earlier uh, lecture we have seen about uh, uh, very basic uh, prerequisite required for the machine learning uh, programming. So we have started the lecture on a uh, numerical Python library. So in our last lecture we have seen about how to create the array, how you can uh, index those array and uh, how you can extract uh, uh, data from that array so from the same library let's see today what we are going to see we are going to see about how you can do small operation on the top of uh, this um, array uh, what are the different uh, data manipulation you can do on the top of uh, this array there are a lot of uh, statistical aspects uh, uh, of it also so uh, let's start it so these are the topic uh, I have decided uh, for the today's lecture like we'll see about the basic operation on array array multiplication or matrix multiplication sorting and uh, where how to find the sum how to compute the minimum and maximum out of the array so let's begin uh, with one by one so first of all let's import uh, numpy library okay it has successfully imported it now basic operation means uh, how you can add uh, two arrays so uh, let's define one array we have seen in uh, last lecture how to create the array manually like 2 comma 5 comma 3 comma 8 so this is a basic array now suppose we want to add just phi into each and every element of this array so just check we have already added 2 plus phi 7 5 plus phi is 10 so just add a uh, phi will take care of uh, everything and uh, each and every element uh, it will add phi suppose we want to uh, subtract 2 out of each and every element of this array so it has uh, uh, deleted at least subtracted two out of each and every element of the array so this way you can do uh, a basic operation on the top of array let's see uh, how mm, array manipulation uh, you can do uh, so array manipulation and there is a matrix multiplication so array mul multiplication and matrix multiplication there is a one difference array multiplication is nothing but element by element uh, multiplication of each element and matrix multiplication is our linear algebra way multiplication what you can do so let's see about uh, array multiplication so suppose uh, you have one more array like uh, we'll create Two comma six comma one comma two. Now we want to multiply each every element of A with every element of B. So two multiply by two four five multiply by six is thirty. So that's correct. Now let's see. This is all element by element multiplication. Let's see about the matrix multiplication. So uh, matrix multiplication. Let's define one array. Uh, we have uh, yesterday seen how to construct array which is having all values will be same and let's print it and there is a one more braces are required okay so it has generated uh, a 3 cross 3 array uh, which is having all values 1 now suppose we want to do element by element multiplication of c with c then it should produce exactly the same array because one is multiplying with one in the same way but now suppose we want to see matrix multiplication so uh, numpy has one method dot so you can apply the dot method on the C array and you multiply it with the C itself so let's see what it will generate it has generated three 
थ्री थ्री सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड दिस इज नथिंग बट द एरे मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो एरे मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज एलिमेंट बाई एलिमेंट मल्टीप्लीकेशन ओके सो लेट्स सी अबाउट द कंपेरिजन ऑपरेशन सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी जनरेटेड वन अरे लेट्स कंपेयर दिस अरे ए एंड अरे बी सो इट हैज जस्ट द वन एलिमेंट कॉमन इन साइड एंड ऑल एलिमेंट्स आर डिफर डिफर सो ओनली वन एलिमेंट इज कॉमन सो आइडियली इट शुड वेन वी कंपेयर इट it is has given the first element as a true because it is a common and remaining all elements are the false element okay that's correct that's working very fine so uh, let's go for the computing the sum uh you can find even a minimum or a maximum out of it also so let's define mm, one we have already a now suppose we want to find the sum of all element inside the array so what you can do we have one matter like sum so it has generated 18 for us and we'll print uh, we'll cross verify also so 2 plus 5 plus 3 plus 8 that's correct 18 actually now suppose we want to see the minimum of this array so we have np dot min functions are there minimum so minimum value is 2 so it should print 2 correct so it has printed the 2 now suppose we want to find the maximum out of this array it is 8 so correct so this way you can find the sum uh, summation of all elements inside the array you can find a minimum or a maximum uh, of this array uh, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's see uh, there is a one more is argument minimum and argument maximum so suppose rather than maximum or minimum element you want to find the place at which the maximum and minimum occurs so let's print np arc max arc minimum so the uh, minimum element is 2 and 2 is occurring at a zeroth index so it should print 0 that's correct now suppose we want to find the maximum so maximum is a is 8 here and it is occurring at index 0 1 2 3 so it should be 3 okay correct that's fine that's so far so good uh let's see about the statistical computation so mm, there are lot of statistical function already uh, in built uh, inside this numpy uh, library so uh let's do with our uh, famous ara which we have uh, generated now suppose we want to find the minimum of um mean the average value of all elements in this array so what we can do it is a 4.5 let's cross verify it so we have a 2 plus 5 18 18 divided by 4 it's correct 4.5 now suppose we want to find the standard deviation of uh, uh, this a that is a 2.29 so so far so good it's working very fine so this way you can do a uh, lot of statistical uh, manipulation also uh, now let's see what is uh, flattening and uh, reshaping of the array so Mm, for the flattening uh, we need to create some array like uh, two dimension array and flattening is nothing but uh, you are scanning each and every element of uh, this multi dimension array and put it into a single dimension so let's create a uh, one two dimension array
वन कॉमा टू कॉमा थ्री इंटू फर्स्ट रो फोर कॉमा फाइव कॉमा सिक्स इंटू सेकेंड रो ओके लेट्स प्रिंट इट ओके करेक्ट सो फार सो गुड नाउ सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू फ्लैटन दिस अरे सो देर इज वन मैथड रावेल रावेल इज देर विच इज नथिंग बट इट विल फ्लैटन द फुल अरे सो इट हैज फ्लैटन द अरे एंड इट हैज पुट इट इन टू द वन डायमेंशन अरे फ्रॉम द टू डायमेंशन अरे फॉर अस ओके नाउ सपोज वील स्टोर इट इन टू सम ई वेरिएबल ई अरे वेरिएबल and we want to reshape this array so this uh, is uh, uh, six uh, element are there total and uh, original array we, which we have it is a uh, two rows and a three column let's uh, resize it to uh, three rows and a two columns so let's apply this e reshape to three cross two okay so we have that is nothing but the reshaping we have already reshaped the array from 2 cross 3 to we have ravel it and from that uh, flatten array we applied this reshaping function and we have converted into three rows two columns matrix okay so this is a uh, flattening and reshaping let's see about the sorting uh, we have already that b uh, array we have created now let's apply uh, the sorting mechanism on the top of it so numpy has a sort function out of it so sort uh, this data is already sorted so i don't think uh, we'll get uh, any idea so uh, let us uh, create the s uh, some different variable which is having a data in a non sorted order so let's see f i'll put it like a one two comma zero comma three one okay let's print it so we have a four rows a uh, two rows and a four columns array now suppose we want to apply this np dot sort into array f okay so it has a uh, uh, sorted the array uh, uh, across the full element so we have a total eight element and all eight element it has sorted and it has again uh, uh, distributed into two rows and a four columns matrix now this is uh, along the non any direction but suppose we want to uh, sort the array along just the columns only so we need to provide x is 0 so along the first dimension so what it will do actually we have this original array along the column only it will sort so if we see this array compare with this array with our uh, current output so 2 and 3 it has sorted 0 and 1 then 3 and 6 it has no relation with the row but now the same thing suppose we want to do mm, with the row so we will need to uh, supply the axis 1 so along the row dimension so you can see this this row it has sorted and then put it into the same row minus 1 1 3 6 and the same way the second row 0 1 2 3 it has put it into same row so uh, uh, these are all some of the basic uh, data uh, matrix and uh, array related manipulation uh, you can do on the top of uh, this numpy uh, very fantastic array it's a very fast and uh, memory efficient way so that's it for the, uh, this lecture we'll see about uh, more prerequisite uh, require for the our machine learning uh, coding uh, stuff into subsequent lecture i hope you enjoy this video uh, keep like comment and subscribe it